Hello all, my name is Rahul and welcome to this session on Java language. In this video, we will talk about return type, method name and the parameter. In the previous video, we have already discussed about the syntax of method declaration with proper explanation on access modifier, non-access modifier, right? Still, if you have any query or any doubt, you can just let me know in the comment section and I will help you out on that, right? So let's try to understand uh, the concept return type method name and the parameter. So I have listed down some important points which you can refer to understand it. So I'll just discuss the important uh, feature of uh, this written type, why we use and what is the use of this written type in Java language. So you can uh, definitely, uh, for the theoretical part, you know, you can just refer these all points and you can easily get to know what is the definition of written type and why we use written type in Java language, right? So uh, let's try to understand each and every point one by one here. So the use of return type is to finish the execution of any method and transfer the control back to the controller. So let's say if I have a method, so uh, just take an example here. Let's say I have this example, right? So it says a public static void main. It means I have used void, void over here. Now if you just say return, so what it does is it will execute this and it will give you an output as test method with void return type. After that, it will check, okay, next statement is return over here. It means it will not go and check any further line in your program. It will just terminate that program and it will send that, uh, you know, uh, send, send the control to the uh, main method that is, uh, you know, public static. The same thing I have men mentioned here, return keyword finishes the execution of a method and transfer the control back to the controller. Now, if you talk about in Java, every method has to be declared with a return type. It means if you just say, if you just remove it as, uh, you know, if you just remove this public static test, then it will throw a compile time error and you will not be able to compile and execute your code. So in Java, every method has to be declared with a return type. Now, if you talk about return type, it could be either of primitive data type like integer, float or double or also it could be a type of reference type or void. So, if you talk about void, it means it returns nothing. That's why in main method declaration, we use void as a return type, public static void main. That we will discuss So, why we use the declaration as public static void main in case of main method declaration. That uh, we will discuss in coming lecture. So for now you can just understand the return type can be of primitive data type or it could be a reference data type or also of void uh, type, right? In case of void as a return type, what it does is, so in this case uh, you can see, right? I have I have written return, uh, return keyword over here. But if you are using void as a return type in your, uh, you know, method declaration, then you don't have to write return explicitly over here. What it does is your compiler itself implicitly write the return keyword. So virtually your compiler will write this return keyword and you don't have to write it. But if you use int over here, let's say if I use a, a you know, a primitive uh, as a return type in case of method declaration, then in that case explicitly, you know, programmer will have to return that particular value over here. If it is of integer type, then programmer will have to return integer value over here. If you don't return, then it will throw a compile time error. So in case of any primitive or reference, the return type has to be mentioned explicitly. So this is a, a you know, mandatory thing over here in this, in case of Java language, right? right? So that's why I have mentioned programmer will have to explicitly return the value using the return key. If method does not return any value, it means if method is not returning any value over here, then the return type would be void. If method is not returning any value, then the return type would be of void type, right? So this is important uh, points I have mentioned here. It is used before the method name. So uh, this return type we use always uh, before the method name, test is the method name over here, right? where it says what type of value the method is going to return. So if I if I say void over here, it means this test method is not going to return any value. But if I say int over here, it means this test method is going to return what value? Integer, right? If I just say float over here, it means this test method is going to return 
a value of float data type. So this is an example of a word written types, right? Word over here. Now you can just understand this example, which I have mentioned with the help of primitive data type. So if you just prim if you just say int over here, it means programmer will have to explicitly return that particular value. It means if your method is of integer data type or return type, then you will have to explicitly return that value over here. If you don't return this value, then it will throw a compiled error. So this is mandatory guys. You will have to return in case of, uh, you know, primitive or reference uh, return type. In case of void, you don't have to return any value. Either you, you, if you want, you can just say return over here, return keyword if you want, you can use it. If you don't use, then compiler will, uh, you know, virtually write uh, this keyword over here. Now, return type of the method and the value written by the method. It means what? Return type of the method. So, this test method has a return type test uh, int over here, right? So, return type of the method. So, this method has return type as int and the value written by the method. So, definitely if it is of integer type, then it will return what value? Integer value. It means return type of the method and the value written by the method should always be same or it will throw a compile time error. If the value is not same, then it will throw a compile time error and your program will not be able to compile. So this is mandatory guys. If you use int over here, then you will have to return the same value. If, it, if I just say 10.5, then it will throw a compile time error and your program will not compile at all. If you say float over here, then you will have to return the float value in this case. If you just say any string value or character value, then it will throw a compile time. In order to give you more understanding on it, let's understand this. So this is, uh, I will be explaining about, you know, why we use return keyword over here. So this is a simple example over here. You can see uh, this is a class sample. So declaration of class, this is a method, public static void test. And this is the main method declaration, right? Public static void method. So always when you compile your code and try to interpret JVM, what it does is it always looks for the main method declaration. So main method declaration is here, right? Interpretation from uh, this main method declaration. It will check, okay, public static. So compiler has already checked for all the syntax error. So we did not get any error. Now it is ready for the interpretation. Now as a part of interpretation, it will come and it will go inside the main method and it will check okay there's a method called test now it will go and check in the entire program do we have any method declared with the name of test it will go and check okay there's a method now if that method is there now what it does is it will go inside this now inside it it it, it checks okay there's a system dot out dot print in it now uh interpreter jvm will get to know okay this is uh, this is a retrieval statement, so we just have to print test method in the compiler or in the console or command prompt. So it will print that value. After that, so this, uh, uh, you know, semicolon we used to terminate that particular statement. Now it has been terminated. Now it will go to the next line and it will check, okay, there's a return keyword over here, right? So in case of void, you don't have to mention it because compiler will itself mention this uh, keyword virtually over here. But if you are using int data type, then you, in that case you will have to mention. So uh, return, it will check, okay, return, there's a return keyword over here. Return means what? It will finish the execution of your program of that particular method, right? Finishes the execution of method and transfer the control back to the controller. So what it will do? It, it already checks for the written statement over here. Now, so uh, earlier, the, the earlier the, uh, this was here, right? This was here, the control was here because it checked for the test method. It went inside test and it has printed test method over here, right? Now it checked for the return statement. Okay, there's a return statement. Now it will transfer the control back to the, the main method. And now the cursor is here. Now, this has been executed. Test method interpretation, uh, test method implementation has been uh, interpreted. Now it will go to the next line. Next line, there's a return statement. It means it will finish up the executing main method and it will just terminate the program and it will give you the output as test method in your console as well as in command. So this is why we use, uh, you know, return type in all main method declaration or simple method declaration. So this is very important. If you don't use return type in your method declaration, then it will throw a compile time error. So this is very important guys and you will have to use it.
right hope you understood uh, this concept and now uh, so written type we have understood now let's try to understand method name so method name is you know it is a kind of identifier and we just identifier or the name given to the method itself right so we just in order to give the identification to that particular method what we do is we use the method name where we define the method name and there is no any there is no any restriction on it you can use any method name as a part of uh, as as per your convenience but in case of main method declaration we will have to use main or else it will throw compile time error so we will uh, we will discuss about this as well in coming lecture no worries method can return only one value at a time it means if i just say here int and float then it will throw compile time error you cannot use two primitive data type in one uh, method declaration it will throw a compile time error that's why i have mentioned method can return only one value at a time it returns the value using the return keyword so that we have already seen right it always returns the value using a uh, return keyword in java language now if we talk about parameter so parameter uh, you know method can be declared with or without parameter in java language so in this case if you can see i have not used any declaration in i have not used any parameter inside it so i can say this is without parameter if you use any value let's say if i say test a over here and inside this i'll just say i'll just pass 10 so we'll discuss uh, this program no worries so if i just say 10 over here then what it does is it will assign this 10 value inside a so when you when you try to interpret uh, the code right it will check for the test method which has a parameter so it will check uh, that particular method inside in, in the entire program in the entire class and it will check okay there is a test method which has the parameter as which has the argument as int so it will automatically assign this uh, 10 value inside a you just have to say a over here and uh, you will get your output right you just have to say and you will get your output printed so uh, we understood okay method can be declared with or without parameter in java language main method will always have the parameters as string array data type so this is mandatory guys if you use any other data type if i just say instead of string if i just say int then you will get a compile time error wherein it will say main method declaration should be always public static void main of string data type not the not the word int data type so this we will discuss it takes two argument type at once in the method declaration first one is argument type and second one is argument name so here if you see tells about the nature of the argument name example int a over here right so int int is a nature of that a value argument name tells about the name of the argument type so if you have used int over here then you will have to you will have to use some identifier which will uh, which uh, your which you know which we refer to understand okay this is user input where we are storing this value this is a value where we are going to uh, store you know student marks or something else so in example you can see int a here a is the argument type which will have some value so a is going to hold some value and using a you will be able to retrieve your uh, you know value in your command prompt or in your uh, console section right so let's understand uh, this written keyword uh, with the help of uh, real time program so i'll just take you to the eclipse and under eclipse i have already created a method uh, project as a java project and under source uh, i have already created a package and the package name is written type now let me go let me create one class over here so i'll just do right click on that and i'll just click on class over here right and i'll just say uh, program 1 right this is my uh, class name and i'll just click on finish now it has already created a class uh, over here with the name of uh, program 1 now let me start executing each and everything so what i'll do is i'll just use a simple program over here so i'll just say public static void test and uh, i'll just use open up the uh, you know braces over here and here i'll just say system dot out dot println right and i'll just say test method and i'll use semicolon over here now since this is static and this is also static so what you can do is you can just say test over here and it will help you in executing it now as soon as you try to interpret your code 
or just click on run then what it does is it will start executing from here it will come to this section and it will check okay is there any test method which we need to uh, which we need to uh, you know check and uh, give the output to the user so it will check okay there is a test method right now it will it will go inside this and it will check okay there is a print statement and it will print that test method after that if you want you can just mention return keyword over here if you don't mention then compiler will itself mention this keyword over here and it will help you in executing the code if you explicitly mention it no problem but this is not recommended because if you use return keyword then uh, you know it will it will uh, it will consume one line of your uh, you know code so this is not recommended right now if you just run your code then the mechanism what it does test method okay it has checked the test method it, the test method is already there now it will check okay the return type is what void it means do not return any value if you just say 10 over here then it will throw a compile time error now check for this error void methods cannot return any value since we are using return type as void over here then you are not authorized to return any value and it will throw a compile now at the end of this also i will use return keyword now what it does is it will execute this now controller this return keyword will send the controller uh, back to uh, this inside the main method now controller is here now it will go and it will uh, you know check for the next statement and it will check okay there is a return keyword it will terminate the program and it will give you the output as test method now let me just run this code so you can see uh, the output which we are getting is test method if i just say int over here right int as a return type if you don't return any value then it will throw a compile time error because if you your, your method is of what return type int is a return type and in this case you will have to explicitly programmer will have to explicitly return any value in this case if you don't return it it will throw a compile time error the same thing here why i can mention whereas in case of primitive data type programmer will have to return the value using the return keyword so in this case you will have to return some integer uh, value if you return any uh, value uh, like you know uh, some float or string or character then it will throw a compile time error and you can see the error type mismatch cannot convert from double to int since we are using int as a data type as a return type in the method declaration then you will have to return what integer type not any other value right so uh, if you use uh, if you just say float over here then in that case you will have to use you know float either you can just say zero or you can just say you know any other value over here in order to uh, return the same uh, value which we have used in the method declaration now if you talk about any other program so if you don't say anything right if you don't return any value then it will again throw a compile time error and what it says the error it says this method must return the result of type float if you don't return it it will throw a compile time error that's why i have mentioned in this point you can just see here at this point it returns the value using the return keyword and if you are not going to return any value then it will throw a compile time error and you will have to return it so this is important guys if you are using return type as primitive return type or, or reference ret uh, return type then you will have to explicitly return that particular value over here if you don't return it then it will throw a compile time error now if you talk about the parameter right so let's take an example if i just say 10 over here so this we will understand guys you don't have to worry about it let me just use word over here and uh, you will have to hold this value right because then we are passing the value now where you want to hold this so i'll just say go inside the test method and there is a declaration proper declaration of a variable that is int a this is how we declare so what it does is virtually it will do like this int a equals to 10 so this is something called declaration and initialization so in this case what we are doing is we are assigning the value in the main method and we are holding up that value in the test method over here now this a has value what 10 now if you just try to get this value using system dot out dot print ln, then you will get output as 10 in your command prompt or console section uh, so if you have any doubt or anything you can just let me know in the comment section and uh, i'll do the needful so guys if you like this video please do like share and subscribe and do let me know your feedback in the comment section 
Till then, stay safe, stay healthy. Bye-bye.